All right. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to our sponsors, Red Hat and AWS. Yes. So my job was to tell you how to get involved, and we need your help. All these problems that we're talking about today aren't necessarily solved easily. There's some quotes that have come out of today already, right? Like, choose your tech debt. You know, choose it wisely. You're not choosing a tool, you're choosing your technical debt. Um, and then the ubiquitous uh, Conway's Law always applies. So. Uh, how do you get involved in helping us? Well, first, thank you to all the volunteers that made this possible today. That's a lot of people. Yeah, totally. Christian, Aubrey from Red Hat, yeah. you know, Scott from Weaveworks, a bunch of people there, a few people from AWS. Yeah, it's a lot of volunteers. It's a lot of speakers, too, when you put them all on one page. Hmm. Uh, so thank you to all the speakers. This would not have been as awesome of a day without them. So how do we get yes. involved? Showing up is actually 80% of the work, Scott. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that, yes. So what is in front of you? Well, it's the CNCF, uh, that IO slash calendar. And if you search for GitOps, you will find our working group meetings, which you can then add to your calendar. It's awesome. What do we talk about in those meetings, Scott? Well, we talk about... Uh... We have an agenda. <laughs> um, I mean, one thing we do is we, there, I, I don't want to jump the gun You're fine. here. Go ahead. But, There's nothing. But, yeah. Okay. But there are, there are uh, different groups of people working on different work products that are part of uh, the GitOps working group and for the Open GitOps project. Uh, and, and one of the things that we do at that meeting is those people report back, I guess you could say, or try to, uh, you know, just, just integrate so that everybody has an idea of what's going on. Um, for example, there are people working on white papers on certain topics uh, or research papers or things like that on certain topics. Um, there are folks working on um, events such as this event today and the, the other one in North America that happens every, you know. Yeah. Um, Speaking of North America, it's in Detroit, where I'm from. I'm very happy to welcome all of y'all to my city. Yes. It is truly different than what you've heard in the news. It really is. <laughs> I promise you that. I would not live there if it wasn't cool. Yeah. And, and we talk about topics. So, so in between, folks start, uh, but there, there are some people who can't make these meetings, right? Right. And, and I think you're probably going to uh, yeah, show, yeah, yeah. show some more of that. But just when we are in these meetings, the folks that can't make it, we also uh, integrate with those people. So um, folks that can't make it in person, uh, not just us, but, but various people within the GetUps working group connect with on Slack, help people uh, get their agenda items onto you know, our meetings doc, like most project meetings, or most working group meetings have a meetings doc. Um, and that's what you could do. So if you can't join these meetings, uh, Chris will show you some other ways to get involved, but, but in the meetings, you will also be represented. Yep. Um, but again, this is our repo, essentially. The, the documents are the kind of the outputs of our work, and the project repo is where we have our discussions that you saw earlier this morning, all those links. Uh, those discussions are still all open, right? Like secrets management is still a big deal, and we still need to figure that out on like a multi-cluster, multi-tenancy level. Scaling secrets by itself is hard. Um, so that's worth it. worthy of a discussion, worthy of building some recommendations around the discussion, and then worthy of creating a blueprint or a white paper or yeah. did we say green paper at one point? I think we yeah, I, I think we just started using standard terms because people started getting confused. Yeah, it sounded cool enough. though. Um, yeah. I still like the I still like it. Yeah, um, and there's lots of already open PRs too. Yeah. So there's plenty of places for you to just dive into Open Dash GitOps on GitHub and start getting involved. If you have a question, just a general question, go to that discussions page and ask it. There's a special thing just for questions. Um, if you have an issue, like uh, with a term is missing from the glossary, for example, feel free to open an issue and create a PR and it'll get added, trust me. Um, and then Slack, I created a shorter link because that URL no one's gonna remember. Please join us on Slack. That's a great way to get your stuff into our meetings, into our you know, field of view. Uh, that screenshot didn't turn out 
oh well. But eh, okay. So there's just, some. No, you know, it's Slack. Yeah, yeah. it's Slack. Uh, get involved here. If you need a nudge getting started or just want to say hello, it's fine, right? Like if you want to just keep an eye on things and lurk for a little bit, that's fine too. Oh, one thing I should probably say, though, while you're on the Slack topic, is that you may notice if you're in CNCF and you type in GitOps, you'll see a couple of channels that say GitOps in them. Yes. Um, yeah, so uh, we, I, I, I realize now, uh, uh -huh. Dan and Chris, that we didn't actually mention this when we first started today, whereas we did last GitOpsCon because it was big news. Uh, it doesn't feel like big news anymore, but it is still worth noting that Open GitOps is a sandbox project. I know at some point it was noted, you know, that's where documents live, but, mm -hmm. but basically that is a CNCF sandbox project. It is not the same as the GitOps working group, just like most projects aren't the same as working groups. Working groups are meant to be short term. They last as long as they last. They're either underneath technical advisory groups, which the GitOps working group is. Mm -hmm. It's underneath the app delivery SIG, how, how are we doing? Or, tag. Sorry, tag. Technical advisory group. <laughs> tag. Uh, and other working groups are just directly under CNCF. Um, uh, um, excuse me. So in any case, um, where, was I, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. So the, so the GitOps working group, it, it, it doesn't seem to be going, need to go away uh, right this moment or anything like that. I mean, it, it will last as long as it's needed. But once the, once the open GitOps project is really running solidly on its own and it doesn't feel like it needs a separate group, that group may not be necessary anymore uh, because you'll actually be able to group together with folks um, in the open GitOps project. And that's already getting started. Yeah. So the, the GitHub teams that I mentioned that where people are joining uh, to, to do certain types of tasks together, um, explore certain ideas together. You know, I mentioned earlier during the opening the, the uh, GitOps impact on environmental sustainability. Hey, if that's one of the topics that interests you, awesome. Please connect with, with us and other folks who are a part of that group. And if you, if you uh, have a, an ability to commit to that, then we can add you to that team. Yeah. Uh, another cool thing about being added to a GitHub team is that you can choose to show that badge on your GitHub uh, profile. You know, so it's, you, you, can do that. you can do that too, and we try to also make it clear that volunteers oh, yeah. can have, you know, you're not, just, you're not just being asked to do silent work, um, you're always thanked. Yes, you will. Uh, yes, so in terms of Slack, I got a little off topic there, but yeah. in terms of Slack, we have both channels and you can use both, but we've been migrating as much as possible to open GitOps. Um, if there are things that are specific just to the working group, um, that aren't really relevant to GitOps. We might still do it on the working group, but, but uh, hopefully that helps you there. There, awesome, cool. Thank you for that, Scott. All right, and spread the word, right? Like, tell your friends. Like, do, tell your friends how to do dev and ops through a pull request, right? Like, that's the start of it, that start of that conversation internally. Tell us what you're up to, right? Like we want to know the companies and the people that are using GitOps. So it, you know, obviously there's a lot of people doing GitOps. It'd be great to know who they are so we could learn from them and hopefully learn from their mistakes so that we can pass those on, you know, through guidance or documentation. Right, that's a good point. And if you need to be anonymous uh, with your employer about some GitOps, uh, horrors that you've had, uh, <laughs> that can be respected, you know? We don't think we have an NDA process, but you can also just tell us without telling us who you are, you know? Right, yeah. Um, also, there is an adopter, to what Chris said, there's now an adopters yes. uh, page within the, um, the Open GitOps project repo, I think? I think. Anyway, it's one, of, it's one of the repos. There is, an, there is a page where you can list yourself as an adopter of GitOps, and there's a template showing you how to do it. So please do that. Uh, give like a one sentence, uh, hey, this is how I'm using GitOps. And even like, oh, here's a link to our blog post showing you more in depth on how we're using GitOps, um, or even how we're in the middle of using GitOps, or, or whatever you want to say. Um, there's no real bar there except for follow, except for you are actually implementing GitOps or trying to. You're trying, and, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and you're following the code of conduct. But otherwise, no one is excluded. Right. And then, you know, I made this short and sweet. Like, Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Christian, wherever you are. I don't know where you went, but really happy to have you all here today. Hope you had a great day. I hope you have a greater KubeCon, and we look forward to seeing you in Detroit. Yes. Thanks. Thank you, everyone.